people welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi okay so as you see today we're gonna to be talking about you know notary supplies things that you're gonna to need to run a successful notary business this is not everything there's plenty of more stuff you can actually add into your business that will help you run your business but these are more general things that I actually been using and I've been using it during the signing so it's actually been used instead of just kind of just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> Anyways, before I begin, I am excited to announce a new series on my channel coming soon. Um, as you guys know, like my true passion, I'm, I'm a full-time entrepreneur. My true passion is my clothing line and uh, I'm actually going to start my journey process on building my clothing line too on YouTube also as well as my notary business. Um, so I will, I am going to post branding videos, marketing videos that will help with any business. Um, and I'm going to begin to teach you guys on how to market your business, on how to brand your business on sales and things like that. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, let your girl know. That's just another series on my YouTube channel that I'm going to be having. But for the notary series today, I'm going to be introducing you guys to supplies, like I said before. And as you see, <clears throat> as you see, new scenery, I recently moved. Just to tell you guys a little bit about me, I'm 21 years old. And I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm actually married. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, I still live with my mom. Me and my husband are getting things together and our goal this year is to move out into our very first place together. So I'm super excited and that's why I even started my notary business too because I have really big goals this year and so hopefully you guys can see the journey and I will, once I do get my first apartment, I definitely will vlog. <laughs> okay, so just let you guys know that. Um, but yes, so enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into these supplies because it might be a little minute. So the very first supplies I'm going to is it backwards? Yeah. The very first supply I'm gonna talk about is these pens. So um, these are it's really important to get the um, the ball pins, and these are five dollars on Amazon. So I got there's 60 of them in here. They come in blue, black, and red. That way you can have you know a variety. Um, I also leave these pins back with my um, borrowers. So once they're done signing, I say, hey, you guys can keep the pins and stuff because they're, they're like $5 for 60 of them, no problem. It's all good. Um, make sure, I believe they have some boxes that are all blue or all black or all red. I got all three colors because I feel like, you know, sometimes you're gonna need blue on your um, paper, on your signing, or sometimes you're gonna need um, black on your signing. You probably will never need red, but I like, the, I like the color code things and you never know you just never know so pins of course so the next item that I have um are these paper clips um I have a big jar of them I got the colorful ones um I actually got this as a gift so I'm not sure how much they cost but I'm pretty sure they probably range from like ten five to ten dollars um it's actually come with different sizes, so I have like the jumbo clips, and then you have the little small ones, the cute ones. Um, I, I believe it gets even smaller, let me see. Maybe it doesn't get smaller. But oh yes it does. No, I'm saying size, no. Yeah. Anyway, it's different sizes in the um in the jar. That's why I really like it. And they're colorful, it's cute. I like I like nice pretty things, so I like how it's colorful and these are really good to you know kind of what i've been doing when i prep my documents i actually you know paper clip the disclosure i paper clip the settlement statement i paper clip anything that you know has more than one page and that way when i hand the hand this to the bar i don't just hand them one page um page by page i hand them the whole entire um little stack and it's paper clipped together and they can see like, okay, this is the first page and this is the last page and everything. Just to help me out and keep me organized. And it really helps with the borrowers too. The borrowers are like it. <clears throat> so another cute little thing that I carry, I carry this in my, um, in my notary briefcase. This comes with everything I need. Okay, let me show you guys. So I carry this in my notary briefcase. Basically it's, um, paper clips, we got a little staple, we have 
uh, tape, even scissors, just in, just in case anything happens while I'm on the road. I have like a little kit that can help me, you know, um, fix anything. I even have like a little stapler, um, um, stapler remover, and it is it's perfect because it gives me every. I, I have everything right in my um, briefcase. And not to mention, let me show you guys. Here is my notary briefcase. This is by uh, Steve Madden, and I love it. It's super duper duper cute. Um, it has plenty of space, as you can see. You see my um, I keep my commission in my briefcase, and I keep my journal in my briefcase because you gotta make sure you um, write record your notary your notary acts, and you have plenty of room. Legal size paper do fit in this. The color is so cute and has a gold accents. Um, plenty. Oh, also, it has this too. So I put my um, wallet in this and it kind of just hangs on this too. And then we have some pockets. We have two pockets in the front. We have this ginormous pocket in the back. So plenty of room. I see I, I keep pens and things um, in my uh, briefcase. And it's not too bad when I carry it. It's pretty big, but I think it's cute. I think it's like a little fashion style or accent, whatever. I think it's cute. I never mind carrying my um, notary bag. I think it's so, so cute. And I really, really, really recommend Steve Madden. So next I have these little uh, sticky notes. So I kind of am running it out. Um, what I do is I actually stick where need, the bars need to sign and I stick where I need to notarize. And I use these little um, sticky notes to make any comments that just in case I forget, I will like, uh, like one time I used the little sticky note right here, the small one. I had actually wrote, uh, make, be sure to check all boxes. So that, that way I can remember, the borrowers can remember, and they've seen it and it got done, it got executed perfectly. So that really helps. And here goes some more sticky notes. This one, you just stick it like this. So this one's pretty cool too. Um, <clears throat> another thing, you're gonna need bigger sticky notes because you're gonna wanna make sure you write down on a postcard you know, um, the, the recession date, the today's date, the day, the day of the signing date. Um, you need to write down the lender's phone number. You need to write down anything that can help you um, and during the signing, because especially, you know, you don't, you don't want to be at a, a table, at the signing table, and you have to um, stop and you have to find a phone number. And I actually had to call a lender before and I didn't have to look for the number, it was already written down. So I actually had multiple numbers written down because I was not playing that day. Um, so, um, and, and, and the issue got handled immediately and we was able to finish very quickly. This I use, I usually write down any questions. So when I'm going through documents and when I'm prepping, if I have any questions about a document, I simply write it down right here. Also, I use at the sign table too. If there's any notes that I need to make to the lender or the borrowers have a question and the lender's not answering, I write it down because I don't want to forget. So it's really important that you have something like this there at the signing and just simply in your desk. Another supply that I have is hand sanitizer. I keep some in my bag. I keep some in my purse. I keep some on my desk because even though we're in a pandemic, germs will always be around. So it's this one, this should never go away. You need to always make sure you're sanitizing your hand when you walk in, you walk out of your um, borrower's house because y'all, we gotta stay safe out here. We gotta stay safe. So hand sanitizer is a must. So next I have a clipboard because the reason why I have a clipboard, cause you never know. The bars might have you outside signing in the cold. There's no place, there's no clean, dry place to sign. So I actually have two of these, one for me and one for the bar. And um, <clears throat> these are like literally $2, two to $4 at Target. So get you some clipboards for sure. Now, some more supplies you're going to need is some loose certificates 
acknowledgments and Jurex from your state. And where you can find this is actually on NNA um, website. Um, you can just purchase some, make sure you click the right state because each state is different. And you're going to need these just in case you might have, you know, um, some general notary work that needs to be done. You're going to need these because no one's going to um, provide them for you. So that's another supply you need to have on stock um, all the time. So next, you're going to need some shipping supplies. So you're going to need FedEx, UPS, and then USPS. You're going to need all of their um, express envelopes. Plus, you're going to need the... <coughs> the shipping label simply when whenever you get your um your package or whenever you get your documents it's gonna have a shipping label already in there you print it out and then you just stick it inside and you stick it to the um the um the shipping oh my god I can't talk you stick it to the shipping envelope to the express envelope and that way you don't have to um you know it's tape it or anything it's a clean, very professional way. So how you get these is simply go up to FedEx, you go up to UPS, or you go to USPS website and you order them. I was literally going, literally going crazy because I would go to FedEx and UPS website and order and try to order these, and it's, it's like impossible to order order them. Like it wouldn't let me log into my account. Um, when I get, when I got into my account, I would order, and of course these are free, these are definitely free, but they would, they never came, or maybe they're still on their way, I don't know, so I had to simply just go up there, and the lady even told me it's best to just call them and order on the phone. I'm like, wow, thanks. So, yeah, just so you can just go up there, and these are free, all of it's free, just ask for some, they'll probably give you like five, so you gotta, you gotta go all, all around your city, Go to each FedEx, go to each UPS, and get as much as you can. And that's exactly what I did. And I have plenty. Okay. Next, you're gonna need a shredder because a lot of times there's, there's gonna be a lot of paper left over sometimes. Like even when my printer likes to act crazy sometimes, um, it will print extra documents that I did not need. And I don't want to just kind of throw the, the paper away. You want to shred the paper or cut it up or something. That way you keep your client's information confidential. You know, they're trusting you with their like with some serious information. So please do your, do your clients a favor and shred all the paper that has their name, phone number, whatever. Shred it, get rid of it. So another thing you're gonna need is a journal. Okay, so why is it even a journal? One, you're, you're gonna wanna track what's going on in your business, in your notary business. I always kept a journal for each business I actually run. I write down my goals for my business every single day. Let me tell you how powerful it is to write down goals for your business. Write down goals in general. That should be like one of the, that's, that's something I do every day and I recommend that you do it too because um, I will write down, my, I, I, you know, I'm so happy and grateful now that I got my first signing. My first signing came, I'm so happy and grateful. Now that I made $20 in my signing business, $20 came, you know, like write down your goals, write down, track, track what's going on. Write down any branding or marketing um, tips or ideas. Write it down because you understand like when you write it, when you put it plain on paper, you can see it, you can also see it in your vision, write it plain on paper and things begin to manifest. So a journal is much, is much needed for your notary business. Okay, so you're also going to need some binder clips. These are really small. I haven't got the bigger ones yet. And honestly, I really don't, I haven't needed the bigger ones to clip everything together. I just use the manila folders. I'm gonna show you guys the next two. But I have all different sizes. So I have this uh, medium size. No, this, is actually, this is actually a large size for the ones I have. I have, this is a medium size. And here it goes, they're really small size. And I use these to um, clip my receipts. Um, so it's really important whenever you drop documents off at FedEx or um, UPS, that you're keeping track of your receipts. So yes, you're gonna need to go inside, you're gonna need to get a receipt and keep track. So I use this to keep track of my receipts. And I have like, I have them organized, UPS, FedEx, things like that. So next you're gonna need some manila folders. These are legal size. And 
I went ahead and just got on the legal size because, you know, that way legal size and leather size can fit in these. And I got a whole box, so I got about a hundred of them, and I leave these with the borrower. So when I hand them their copy, it's in the manila folder, and it's um, it looks very organized. So now I'm gonna show you guys my beautiful printer. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so here is my printer. It's pretty big. It is a HP Office Jet. 7740. It does print, fax, scan, copy, and it has the web. It is touch screen. It has, it is a dual tray. It is not a laser jet. This is an ink jet. It's really, really, really nice, you guys. My bad, y'all. Got the Savannah can away. <laughs> it's really, really nice, you guys. Like, really nice. And it works really good. The quality of the papers look really, really good. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty fast. I wouldn't say it's the fastest printer to print pa papers, but it's not bad. So here's a printer. You can do a lot. You can copy. You can do a lot with this beautiful printer. And again, it has the dual trays. So um, I do recommend this printer. Sometimes it be a little difficult, but. Most of the time, it's doing it's doing pretty good. So now, also you can also I also been using this. So this has been very helpful. This is the loan signing prep sheet. I got these little prep sheets from the NNA website, and I use this every time I have a um, signing. I write down the information. And it helps me keep track of everything that I need. And when I'm like, okay, where's where, where is the appointment again? I literally have the address written down. I see if I have a receipt in the um, documents. I write down the recession, when the recession period ends. I write down if I have two right to cancel forms and it even has a whole list of documents that are normally notarized and to see check documents that's inclu included in the loan package. So it keeps everything really organized. As you see guys, I've been so organized. It's so, so important to stay organized in this business, y'all, because things can get crazy very quickly. Trust me, because it already happened to me. <laughs> oh, and of course, you're gonna need some paper, some letter paper and um, legal paper. I can show you guys the paper I have. So I've been using Target letter paper and it's $5 at Target and there's 750 of them. And I, the reason why I got these is because, you know, it saved, it saved me a lot more money. Um, and I, I thought, okay, since they're a little bit cheap, uh, I hope they're good quality, but they're actually really good quality. Really, really good quality. So paper is paper, y'all. So if, you want to, if you're trying to find a little cut cost, $5 at Target for 750 you can get like um, four of them for $20. Just saying. So the next paper I have is the legal size paper, and this is by Hammer Mill. This paper cost me about like $15 on Amazon. So yeah, it's a little more expensive, but not bad, not too shabby. Not bad, y'all, my dog is going crazy and crap. Let me put this back. So yes, that's most of the supplies that I, I, I believe I showed you guys everything. Um, thank y'all so much for hopping on this video. If I gave you guys any value, or give you guys any tips or helped you in any way, do your girl a favor and subscribe. Um, I will definitely be back on YouTube with another amazing video to help you guys in your business and your journey in, in life, period. So thank y'all so much for watching the video and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.